Hey DJ. Hi guys. How you doing? <laughs> Hi guys, this is my Mitchy Bitsy plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. <coughs> uh, she's a bit and a half old. I'll show you how you can drive, so yeah. Hey guys, well this is my interior of the, the Mitsubishi Outlander and basically it's a simple setup for me to, to actually move the car Well guys I'm going to tell you how you can drive this car I know, you, I know what you're thinking, you're going to go well hey, is he going to drive a car with no hands or no feet? Well, and now I'm about to show you This is um, this is basically a simple setup, it's a, a push-pull hand control right? and I actually have an artificial hand I'll bring it up here for you so that's basically my hand goes on here but I'll, I'll show it when, I, when we get into the car it basically goes on to that like that there okay and you push the brake pull to accelerate and basically that's kind of a simple setup um, yeah because you don't even you don't need anything for your feet at all you just everything's no. here isn't but, it but the, the car is designed for like yourself or anybody can get in yeah and still work the pedals so you can see if I if you show the pedals yeah you see the pedal moving in yeah. The brake and to accelerate. It was all done one one lever, which is very simple and very clever setup. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, then I have a steering knob, and I use, this hand, I use this hand here to obviously steer. So, so that's my left hand. So that's one to steer. steer. Yep. Um, but I'll, I'll show you again through the video how, yep. it do, how it does. So I just let off there. So now we're going to put the hand on. And you basically, to start the car, as most automatics, uh, put, the foot, or put your thing in the brake and push the button. Mm -hmm. And you see the dash, things lighting up on the dash and up on the screen. I think oh, what you guys are probably find strange is you don't hear any engine noise. You may ask, well, it's a hybrid electric vehicle. It's a hybrid uh, and it has, as, as much as it can, it will run on batteries on an electric motor. So obviously when you start it, you get no sound, which is a bit disconcerting with people that have never seen an electric motor or an electric car before think, is this car a starter? Yes. So uh, I'm going to show you the, the, the workings of it then. So on your, you see two blue bars, on the right is the, the fuel and on the left is the battery so it shows a full charge. Um, that's obviously your, your speedometer. So it should do 120 mile an hour. I don't have a conventional um, rev counter. It basically has a charge, eco, and power. So when you go into power, it's obviously, you know, it's like in you know, a rev counter, it's up 8,000 revs. Well, that's basically what that means. It yeah. just gives you more oomph. Um, and then I have, um, yes, yeah, so I'll show you. Yeah. So then you have different features. You can have, um, basically you have an engine, your battery, and uh, your drive, so we'll, we'll show you how that works when we drive the vehicle. But basically, the, the, the battery will, will drive the wheel, so a wee arrow come to it. And then if the engine starts up, as an arrow goes to the wheel, and it shows you that the engine has kicked in. But uh, we, we, again, we'll show you that how it works. Then, um, um, oh, hang on, go back. You have um, all wheel control, or super all wheel control, so that tells you what wheels um, is it was going to slip or back wheels front wheels if you're on snow or ice and that will tell you you know what power is going to teach wheel uh, which is quite, quite a handy thing to have um, uh, obviously your trip computer trip computer um, so then obviously uh, your EV driving range is 100% at the minute because it's fully charged and that's obviously average miles per gallon but if you go to my screen so you go to home so we go to home and click over, you can go into um, vehicle info. So it's PHV AV info. And that'll tell you, that's, I'll show you a power, so that's moving. It'll tell you what kilowatts and what consumption you're using. So if we get there, but if we go to energy flow, which is a very interesting one, you have the car, basically, and the 3D car. You have your battery pack, which is below the, below the seats. And obviously you can see it's full at the minute, so I have a total cruising range of 280 miles and I have 23 miles on the battery. So obviously when that starts up you'll see you know the, the animation how it all works. So um so that, basically that's how that works. Then we have down here we have you see the wee gear sticks, it's like a wee um I don't know it's kinda of, I always say it's kinda of cute looking. 
and it has a charge mode and a save mode. The save mode is if you have full um, but battery, you could drive into Belfast with a full battery and then put it to save mode off and just drive around the town on electric, full electric. Then if you want it, run it of charge, you have a charge button and you click that and it will charge the actual battery so your car can sit anywhere and you can leave it running and it will charge the battery for you. So then we have a um, twin motor four wheel drive lock so that's basically like a diff lock on a four wheel drive motor so you press that in and all four wheels will lock. Um, we have EV mode so if you put the EV mode on that will just run totally on electric until the battery actually dies and then it will kick in that to, into petrol or into the engine. Uh, you have electric handbrake and auto hold is a very useful function for me because when you put, the, put that on if you come up to traffic lights or into traffic or anything, anything on a hill it will car will stop for you um, or we will not roll back and the car will stationary until you pull the accelerator again. So that's basically how that works. It's kind of I basically just steal the car and, and pedal it and that's about it really. It kind of does most of it itself. So I have an app, app, app on my phone. Um, it, it, it can be for um, Apple or Android. And basically you, you, you can mirror the, the car on the phone. Uh, so say uh, in the middle of winter and it's really cold, you can pre-program pre the car to heat up for you. So by, by pressing the button the car will heat up uh, the car for you. So when you get into it it's nice and warm. Or uh, will demist the windows for you if, if you if one screens messed it up. Uh, also, you can put the lights on and off, um, and you can put timers on to when you want to kind of charge or just or discharge or whatever. So it's cool. It's cool to up. Um, basically, this is the, the the layout of the engine bay, uh, and you're thinking, hold on, man, it's got two engines. Well, technically, it has two engines. The one in the back is actually the petrol engine, and there's a two liter um, direct injection. And this is actually the, 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 the magic works here. This is the motor uh, and this is how all the, the, the electricity is produced to uh, go through the, the, from the batteries to go into the motors uh, of the car to make a drive. Um, and you can see this the big cables down there, big orange cables all along the back. Uh, I th and I think it's amazing how they can get I put a 2 liter engine in and a motor in, in one engine bay. I think it's absolutely amazing how they've come in. And you yeah. can, as you can see, um, we, we try and keep the engine bay clean. Well, as you can see, and I have my driving hands on, and I'm going to show you how I can drive. So, basically, this hand goes in here, push the brake, gear stick to the right and forward, push into reverse. See? Left hand on the steering wheel. You can see, actually, it'll tell you it's in reverse here as well. Hand on the steering wheel, back above mirrors, and reverse back. See, there's an electric handbrake on it as well, so that's the handbrake off. So, there we are, we're first night through my guides. Um, I, well, when I was younger, I used to um, I used to drive forklifts and tractors and diggers and had a quad. And I used to love, I used to love machinery and that's probably why, um, you know, it was easy to pass my test because I had the, the, the sort of ability and the confidence to work in motor vehicles. So, uh, um, so it gets a close. So basically this is going to tell you um, how it's all going to work. Um, I'll actually put it in neutral first and put the thing across here. Oh, no. um, so we're going to put the, the car into a hold. So you press the button. So I move my hand. See it's on. So if I put the car into drive and you see the green light it says hold. So mm -hmm. cars and drive, hands off, car won't move until I pull the accelerator. Um, and another thing I want to show you, I have pa paddles uh, on the steering wheel, uh, but they're not for changing the gear. They're basically, you see what the D button says there, so obviously it says drive, and it says drive there. So basically when you flick that up into one, B3, it goes B1, you can actually go from B1, B2, 3, 4 to 5. And I'll even tell you down there. Mm -hmm. Basically, what that is, uh, when you're driving around the town, uh, the car will slow down for you, and it will regenerate uh, the batteries. Uh, and I'll even tell you on the screen. And I'll tell you here. So we'll show, we'll show you how it all works when we're, when we're going to drive. Unfortunately, it's not a great day. A typical Northern Irish weather. It's raining. So there we go. On B4, it's just all the drive. Just pull the accelerator, and the race goes. So anyway, this is uh, this will be driving. Um, well, that'll come up on the video. 
how quiet it is or not, I don't know. It's usually a certain room noise. But now that the, you see the, the engine, it's actually the generator from the engine is coming in to power the battery. So when it goes orange, that's when the engine kicks in. So at the minute we're only in the generator from the engine. So there's actually a generator built into the engine. So there's actually three modes of power, engine, battery um, and uh, generator. There we go. So that's very handy. It's handy if you're driving in three towns and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good bear. It's a good towing car as well. I don't know that, but anyway, there we go. That's how you want nothing here. <laughs> Quick as I <laughs> take my hand off the steering wheel. Ah! Frightening time. Thank you guys. I hope you can watch and I hope you can understand what I said and hopefully you'll get inspiration from looking at my video. Thank you.